Judge Washington did not disappoint today. We had an array of wacky defendants and inmates. However, Miss Moldenado takes the cake, and just wait till you hear what she tells the judge. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Uh, Jeremy Floss, student attorney on behalf of Ms. Maldonado, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Janazai Kiriak and Early. Permission is granted. Your Honor, I'm sorry to jump in, but um, one, at our last hearing, um, Ms. Maldonado was um, trying to confer with Home Division. And I believe the court said that if she were there at this, um, that she could zoom from there, but if not, she should be in person. So should this be an in-person hearing today? Your Honor, I spoke, if I may, um, I spoke to Ms. Maldonado. Um, she is currently living in, um, what's it called, Blank? Grand Blank? Grand Blank. Which is an hour and ten minutes away. Um, Miss Maldonado was trying to get into home of New Division or New Vision. She tried twice during the middle of the month. They said that the spot that was reserved for her was filled, and then the spot that at the end of the month a person had COVID, so she was unable to come in. Um, so that is the reason she's not in home of New Vision. And the reason she's not in person is because she does not have transportation to Ypsilanti. Um, her son is the one that normally gives her rides and her son is currently in Texas. I told her that we would ask mercy of the court to see if she could appear on Zoom because she had no transportation um, to the court. Right. You are correct, Ms. McDuffie. She was ordered to be here in person. She has failed to do so. And she also has a violation report where she missed June 1st, June 5th, and June 16th. Zero requests. There is a request, Your Honor, with respect to the violation report. Um, at our, at our at the last hearing, I think everyone present has some concerns um, regarding Ms. Maldonado's status and the positive test for cocaine is the day after that hearing um, where we had those concerns, which may confirm those. Missing all tests after that point is obviously an issue. So um, I'm requesting a bench warrant if the court finds that appropriate and we can um, uh, adjourn this to another date when she is present or in custody. Thank you. Anything from you, Mr. Barnett? Uh, yeah, uh, your Honor, my cases are driving main offenses, so I'll leave it in your discretion. Thank you. As to case number uh, 23 FB 1250, which is controlled substance possession, one, two, two counts. Let's see, I think she pled. She also missed her PSI appointment. So in that particular case, I don't even know what a PSI appointment is. Your pre-sentence interview. And that was through Washtenaw County. Um, Your Honor, I spoke with uh, Ms. Maldonado about the was it the probation where she was supposed to report for testing and she failed to do so um no that is community corrections her pre-sentence interview is her sentencing interview so she can get sentenced that's the flaw right okay it's, it's a, an assessment The court is going to order a $5,000 cash assurity bond in that case.
and the same for the 18S00562. I'm not sure what I missed. I don't know. I had us. Uh, well, I the main thing you missed is being present here today, like I ordered you to, ma'am. Yeah. And the township. I didn't know this case. Was, I didn't know this case was about my uh, the drug possession, uh, as I was aware that it was about my license. You kept asking me about getting license back. Twenty five hundred ten percent in the other two license cases. Do what? I'm issuing bench warrants. Twenty five hundred ten percent. And the license ticket, you have two of those. So you're issuing a bench warrant because why? I missed what? I even a PSI is, and I wasn't even aware. Yes, when Maldonado. did I miss that? And when was that? Yes, Maldonado. Yes. It's supposed to be in person today for this hearing. At our last hearing, the judge. I understand when I talked to the attorney. Ms. Maldonado, the judge is not accepting any other explanations as to why you're not in person. The understanding. Oh, well, then you're going to pick me up from Green Lake and drive me down there? Yes, we will do that, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Is that right? To take the count now when I need to go day, to rehab? Bye bye. Stupid ass. Um, now she's going to be having contempt of court as well. So we're spreading some? I don't know, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. So we'll call the case of the state of Michigan versus Natasha McKinstry, case number 20 FB 1885. Good morning, Ms. Washington. Good morning, Ms. McKinstry. She's Ooh. like, that's not me. I'm starting up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Great to make that be for the people. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe and send your notifications to all. You stupid ass.